Hey girls, welcome back to Heatherly Hearts and welcome to my second ever collab video. I'm doing this collaboration with a girl that is new here to YouTube. Her name is Kirsten and her beauty channel is Beauty by KC. It will be linked below. And we got together. Um, I was I found her channel, I believe, through Glam Moms or 2030 Glam. Hey girl, hey, shout out. Um, when they did their shout out, she was one of the ones included in the list, those lists that I was included in too. So I went and saw everyone. But I, I found her through one of them and I really was drawn to her channel. Um, she is obviously much younger than me, but um, she has a love for makeup and a knowledge, a working knowledge of me. So I really was drawn to her and asked her if she would do this collab with me, and she said yes, thankfully. So what we came up with is we said, well, Thanksgiving's coming. Let's give everybody, like, a look they can sport if they want to. So I took the cranberry and orange smoky eye, and I think she's doing the brown, gold, and green, because we kind of wanted all fall colors, and then we kind of picked the colors we wanted to do. Okay, so this is the look I came up with. It is a cranberry lid with a very blown out smoky orange kind of sunset um, crease. And what I got for y'all was some very cheap drugstore products that I love. They're all wet and wild, um, the shadows are. The first one is the Wet n Wild Fergie. It's in the um, it's in their regular line now. It's called Desert Festival. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall like palette, but it's in their their regular line. It's not limited edition. Okay, so I used that. And then I used my favorite trio, hands down, from Wet n Wild. It's the Knock on Wood. These are like $2.49 at the drugstore. And we used this beautiful cranberry color. You can tell I've used it a lot. It is a gorgeous, buttery, the most beautiful cranberry color I own in all of my collections, high-end and drugstore. And then for a highlight, I used the Creme Brulee, which is the little single um, Wet n Wild. And this is like a dollar. Um, 49 I think at at my Walgreens so okay girls I'm gonna get up close and show y'all this look you can tell it's very dramatic with the lashes of course you can always recreate it in any way you see fit you don't have to copy me it's probably better if you don't because lord I don't know if I'm coming or going these days but if you're interested in this look keep watching and after you're done watching this look go down to, K to Kirsten to Beauty by Casey's video I haven't seen it yet I'm sure it's going to be gorgeous and I really think you're going to like her her whole vibe over there okay girls if you're interested in this look just keep watching Okay, girls, let's get started. Um, I've already put um, foundation on my eye to cancel out any discoloration. Um, so what we're going to start with is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Pomegranate Punk. We're just going to take our finger, a little bit on our finger, and apply that to the lid. To everything but this very inner corner. The next, we're going to go into this um, Fergie Center Stage Collection in Desert Festival. And I'm going to go into this color for my transition. I take a crown brush, blending brush, and I'm going to go into this lightest color, tap off the excess, and start building a transition color. Now we're going to go with a flat brush. This is the e.l.f. Um, Eyeshadow C brush. And I'm going to go into that beautiful cranberry color on this Knock on Wood palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, and it's like $2.50. But I'm going to go into this. And remember, this is very, very, very soft eyeshadow, okay? So you need to tap off the extra and then begin to just pat it over that pomegranate punk base that we laid down. And now we have that laying down. Then I'm going to go in with another um, fluffy crease brush. This is the Matte 217. And I'm going to go back into Desert Festival. And I'm going to get this matte orange. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this peach shimmer, okay? just to start building up the orange intensity in our crease. Okay, so I'm just going to start putting that kind of sloppily. It doesn't have to be the neatest thing you've ever done. So now we have our cranberry and our orange. Then we're going to go in with a more dense crease brush. This is just a Mally one. And I'm going to go into the sparkly. It's a sparkly brown and it has like gold shimmer in it. It's really pretty. But I'm going to go into it and just barely tap my brush in it and get off the extra and then I'm going to create my outer V. So I'm going to start like this, go down with it and at first just barely put the color, okay? You don't need it to be uh, as 
um, dramatic as this because you need to build this up. You, it's easier to build color up than take it away, girl. So always, especially when you're dealing with dark colors, unless you want to look like a raccoon or have to start over, which I hate starting over my makeup, um, build the darker colors up, okay? They can always be built up. They, it's hard to blend them away. Okay. Go back in with a fluffy crease brush. I'm going to go back in with my matte 217 and I'm going to blend it. And I'm going to use the same matte bright orange and shimmer peach. Mix a combination of that. A little more shimmer this time. Okay. Just because I want that peeking out from the top of this. See that? I have very dramatic, as you can tell, um, eyelashes on today and you do want and I have hooded eyes to begin with so um, you do want color peeking out okay and we're gonna go in with our um, creme brulee in wet n wild just the it's a beautiful matte great it's like a dollar I already explained all that but um, we're gonna get it tap off the excess and start blending out up here and I also found it was a little dark in this corner for me, so I did also blend it down here, okay? That's not a necessity if you're going for a really smoky look, but this is supposed to be a Thanksgiving look. You don't want to show up and be looking kind of cray-cray for your family, girl. You don't. Unless you have a crazy family, which then it's probably all right. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with some more cream color. This is all just getting it how you want it. Okay. Um, I'm also going to take my finger, take a clean finger, and um, get your finger clean. I have dark color on that. Okay. And go into my inner corner, just right here, and kind of feed it up into here. You know, we left this blank only because um, I don't like a lot of darkness in my inner corner these days. Um, you know, the older you get, the harder it is to pull off. Okay. So we've pretty much got that done. Okay, now we're going to go into the bottom lash line, and I'm going to use, you can use, this is not drugstore just because I didn't have a drugstore this color. This is in 24-7 Glide on Pencil and Smog. You just need a coppery, bronzy color, okay, or any color that is that would go good with this look. It could be, if you have cranberry, uh, you can use it. Be careful with that color that close to your eye, bottom line, though, because it can tend to make you look sick. Okay, but I'm just, any bronzy brown, lighter brown, Physician Formulas has some great ones that, that are kind of metallic, they're beautiful. Use that, okay? Go back into the darkest color, this dark sparkly color. Get that on my brush and go in the outer corner, kind of feed it up to that darkness right there, okay? And go all the way in with it. I went back into just the matte brown, this beaut brown. Girl, it's been a long week, but I do know my primary colors. This is orange. Go back into that matte orange and go just underneath this brown and kind of smoke it out. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to do, the last thing I'm going to do on camera before I go off camera and put on my lashes and everything is um, take a wide pen eyeliner pen. This is the Physician's Formula Eyebister 2-in-1 Ultra Black, but it's the thick one. It's not the thin one. It has a thick, very much looks like a felt tip marker. The easiest way I found to do a winged liner, I'm going to show y'all right now. You put it down and you just drag it. Of course, try not to get it down here. I'll have to clean that up. And then you just color it in. See how I just set it down and drug it in and it made a pretty line, okay? Okay, I'm going to go off camera and do my mascara, do my lashes, do my eyebrows and the rest of my face and then I'll be back to show y'all the final look. Okay, girls, I finished the rest of my face. Um, as you can see, I did a pretty heavy cheek and contour. I contoured with Hoola Bronzer. Um, and my NARS Eda brush, so it just makes a really, you know, defined contour. The lashes that I used, and they are the Red Cherry 100s. As you can see, they are very, very dramatic. I wanted to show you my lips, though, because it's a really great nude lip combination, and it's all from the drugstore. Um, I line my lips with the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Innocent. It's just a very good nude. Let me show you. It's just a very good nude liner. Okay, and then I use one of my favorite nude lipsticks. It's um, by L'Oreal. It's 800 Ferris Nude. It's just a beautiful nude color, but it has a little pink to it. I found really beigey nudes hard for me to wear because I'm cool toned, so I have natural pink to my skin. 
but if I can find one with a little pink to it, it just works out better for me. And then to pink it up a little bit more, I use the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Eclair. It's just more of a pink pink color. Okay, girls, so that's the final look. Don't forget to go by Kirsten's channel. Um, I have it linked below. Great girl here on YouTube. She's just getting started. I know I have a lot of supportive girls on here, so go ahead and subscribe to her because she's got some good stuff on her channel and good stuff coming up. Um, and to all my new viewers from Kirsten, from Kirsten's channel, thank you for stopping by. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Okay, girls, I have to go. I have more stuff to film, but I hope you enjoyed this um, dramatic Thanksgiving eye look, cranberry and orange. Um, and I hope that your Thanksgiving is filled with only the beautiful things. Thanks for watching, girls. Bye.